Good day, all you wonderful people. Welcome to Adventure Together. My name's Al, and today we are going to do something called the Three State Challenge. There is a challenge where you can leave Harpers Ferry in West Virginia and walk all the way through Maryland and end up in Pennsylvania in less than 24 hours. And today we are going to do that challenge. We are now set up just outside Harpers Ferry, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into Harpers Ferry around midnight tonight just after midnight we're going to start walking leave West Virginia cross the river into Maryland and try and walk all 40 something miles until we reach the Pennsylvania border and cross into it we are confident I am confident you are confident yeah confident as confident as confident can get Yay. Yay! Rob is confident. Let's rock and roll! <laughs> we're going to cut to midnight tonight and we're going to start the challenge. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, it is quite bright, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Don't like my future. <laughs> <laughs> no, positive self talk only. <laughs> So it is midnight, well it's actually quarter past midnight and we have walked back over the border into West Virginia. We're about to walk over the border, it's only like 10 feet that way. And then we'll walk over the border into Maryland and then we've got 42 miles until we hit our campsite. Uh, 41 miles of Maryland and then a, like another mile after that to our campsite. So, ooh, how are you feeling guys? Feeling great. Do this! We just see this tree here, all twisted and gnarled and hollow. But you get up top, and it's still alive, still growing leaves. Despite not having any trunk, it's just bark. Crazy. We are one hour into our journey, and we are still on this flat cycle path, which is fantastic. No uphill. This is perfect conditions. How are we all feeling? Feeling great. great. So we just reached this little turning point. It says there, trash free park. A load of trash. Merka. And that's the Appalachian Trail sign that says we should go left to the spooky gates. We have left the cycle path and now we're in the forest. Walking over rocks. Luckily we have headlamps, so we should be all right. Fingers crossed. Oh, is that up there? Or is it this way? That doesn't look like the way. This looks like the wrong way. Nope, there's a blaze. The unmistakable beauty of the Appalachian Trail. The path just led out over there somewhere into this random car park and now there doesn't seem to be any sign of where we should go. 2 a.m. update. We've already hit our 10,000 steps for the day. We're feeling good. What's going on guys? Sweating bullets right now. <laughs> it's so humid. It's humid. It's hot. You wouldn't believe it at 2 o'clock in the morning. Sweating so much. Uh, there are so many spiders and cobwebs. I'm just covered in them. They're just going across my face and everything. And uh, we've just been climbing uphill ever since the last update. It's, as soon as we did that, it was like straight uphill. We're about four and a half miles in. Feeling good. So we just come across this empty tomb. During the 19th century, few people bought burial lots in public cemeteries as we do today. Instead, a small parcel of their own land was usually set aside as a private cemetery. 
This is a tomb that was never used. 4 a.m. update. It's pitch black and we're walking around an empty tomb in the middle of the forest. Because we, we as the cool kids, I guess. <laughs> a random silhouetted gate. Time for breakfast. R. L. Rudd, 1890. Rob, you've had breakfast, how do you feel? I feel uh, better, and uh, yeah. <laughs> how were you before breakfast? I was a zombie. My, my, my brain literally stopped working like four hours ago. <laughs> how are you feeling? I feel better. I had some coffee. I'm gonna need some more coffee later. I don't feel like death anymore. I feel like almost death. <laughs> but we're a third of the way there, so we're, we're making progress. I, on the other hand, do not feel better. I feel sleepy. It's 7.30 in the morning. We've been walking since quarter past midnight. I'm very tired. We've turned up at this campground. Rob looks completely done. <laughs> you just um, look exhausted. I'm really tired, but when we get done with this, we're gonna be so proud. Yes, it's gonna be so worth it. And at this campground, they've got water that we do not have to filter. I literally just turned, I know how to work a sink. I just turned this on a few minutes ago. And behind this wall is Toilets and showers, but I don't think we're taking advantage of those. I think we're just getting on. Yeah. We'll shower tomorrow. Yeah. I'm a, I don't know yet. You are if you're staying with us. <laughs> <laughs> you may not stay with us if you don't shower. <laughs> I, I see you're keeping quite the distance from him at this point. I mean, I'm trying not to be rude, but. Uh, staying upwind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> staying upwind. Look at these sauce things, baby. <laughs> Nothing says clean than salt stains around the waist. <laughs> A cow would absolutely love to lick that shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> It is 11 a.m. We have walked 19.6 miles in the last 11 hours. We've just had a break. We needed that break. We needed it to refuel our bodies and to rest our weary feet. How are you feeling, Em? I'm exhausted, but I just had another cup of coffee and I'm waiting for it to kick in and then I'll be feeling great. Hey, Rob. Panda. I feel pretty good. <laughs> I had some taters. <laughs> I, I feel, yeah, I'm like delirious. <laughs> As you can see, the sleep deprivation is taking its toll on all of us. <laughs> so, this large stone pot behind me is the Washington Monument, not the one in Washington DC, but it is the Washington Monument, a monument to George Washington. We all know who he is. Okay. Looks like you can go up inside. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a view, isn't it? Oh, 
Over in the distance we got mother and her fawn in the middle of this field. And tiny, it's about the size of a small dog. There's the fawn and there's mum. They're a little bit afraid of me at the moment. I think if I go further they'll start to run in. But I've got to keep going. Can't hang around for baby deer. There they go. Oh, they've gone opposite ways. I'm about 14.4 miles away. It's almost two o'clock. And uh, I'm just really, really nursing injuries now. My left knee, my left thigh and left hip have decided that they will be in immense amount of pain for no reason whatsoever. And uh, so I'm just taking a little five minute break to give it some time to sort itself out. 14.4 um, miles on, uh, on a dodgy leg. This is gonna be fun. Just when I'm feeling physically my worst, the uh, the terrain, are these large rocks, and just trying to get through them, across them, with uh, my knee the way it is, is very challenging. So it's the worst terrain at the worst time of the day. But also, uh, there's a huge thunderstorm on the way. It's been threatening like that for a little bit, so, and raining on and off, so the rocks are all slippery now. Got to be very careful. It's hard to see anything because it's dark, because of the storm that's going on, the thunderstorm, and also we're beneath some pretty dense, uh, pretty dense tree cover. But I want to tell you, it, it is half past seven at night. I've been walking for 19 hours, and I've finally done it. I've reached this point. I'm at the Mason-Dixon line that separates Maryland from Pennsylvania. I've stepped into the northern states, Three states in one day, three states in 19 hours. Rob and Emily, they're not far behind me, maybe a couple of miles. They shouldn't be longer than an hour and they'll, they'll have done it too. We've all done it as a group. We've got to from West Virginia to Pennsylvania via Maryland in one day. 41 and a half miles hiked in 19 hours on two hours sleep. Oh my God. Cut to the morning after. It's been non-stop raining all night. Everything we have a soak is soaked. Emily putting away her wet stuff. Rob as well. We are, we were exhausted. I don't know if we still are. We still are. <laughs> we still are exhausted. Uh, bodies are aching. Everything is wet, everything's dirty, everything hurts. So just a normal Appalachian Trail day, I think. So thank you for joining us on this extra long adventure and I'll see you in the next one. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a blue. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you knew because I didn't. I don't know what the actual words are. I just know that it's not the word douche, but it sounds like. <laughs>